Hello and welcome back. Uh, this time I'm going to be installing the uh, Nagios uh, Core. Um, it's the free community version basically that you can get um, online and uh, install and stuff like that. If you do need to get professional services, they do provide that as well. Um, this is just going to be the core as I mentioned and then after that I'll uh, set up another box that we can do as a client and show you the client install and then we can go from there and uh, try monitor it and see what we get for information on there. So first thing we do is we need to install some uh, extra packages um, some that aren't in the uh, minimal uh, install that I do. So uh, let's, let's get those installed first. It's basically a wget, uh, the web server, PHP, uh, the uh, G, uh, C library, glibc, glibc common, and the uh, graphics. It looks like it's going to install about 54 packages. Uh, now it's going through the verifying. And everything looks like complete there, so that part's good. Um, next, we'll uh, change record to temp. And here we're actually going to uh, download the uh, source um, from SourceForge with the uh, wget command and then we also want to download the uh, what they call plugins now that we got source downloaded we're going to uh, create user accounts and we're also going to create a group and then we're going to do a user mod as well there we go. That was my bad. I missed the uh, minus G for that. Okay, next we're going to do the uh, same thing for the Apache or the uh, web server. Um, one thing I'm just going to do here real quick is just to uh, see if it's uh, called Apache or uh, what the uh, user is for that. So I'm just going to do a quick cat uh, password file. And there's an Apache user, so that's good. We will now do that. Put user mod ag nag admin Apache. Next, we're going to actually uh, uh, do a uh, unzip the files, which is tar cxvf. Let's unzip those, and we'll do the same thing for the uh, plugins. Okay, so we got those two directories, and here we're just going to change directories. Nagios. Let's do a quick configure. Is and. And then oh, equals to NAG. And that's the group that we created earlier. We'll go through and configure here. And if we have everything that we need, everything will be fine. If, if not, it'll let us know. Um, looks like it's good. We got a Nagios, 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 command user group, as well as we got all that stuff e poll, mail. Uh, everything looks good there for the most part that I can see. And after this, we're going to do a quick uh, make all. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to do a make install. That looks good. Now we're going to do a make install init. Okay, init has been installed. Big. Big files have been installed. And um, mode has been configured. Next is the web uh, configure. Okay. Those parts look like they're uh, installed fine. Everything looks good for that part. Now we're just going to 
copy some files. It's basically the event handlers. And we're going to change ownership on those as well. Now we're going to check the configuration file. And looks like no warnings and no errors, so we're good. It's okay. Next is to uh, start the uh, Nagio service. And it started Nagio, it's okay. Uh, let's uh, start the uh, web service as well. And the web service has started. We also need to create a uh, default uh, web account and give it a new password. And Nagios admin is it, and whatever password you put in there. Now it's time to uh, build the uh, plugins. Basically, the same thing as we did last time with the uh, configure and stuff like that, but it'll be a little bit different. Going through checking the environment just like I did previously for the uh, uh, core, but this is just for the uh, plugins. Okay, that part looks good there. Make. Make install. And everything looks good there. We're just going to do a quick uh, check config, only so that it starts after a reboot. And that basically just turns on that. And then let's uh, try going to a web interface on this. Here we'll log in with the Nagios admin that we created. And the password that we set for it. And there's the Nagios core. Looks like it installed pretty decent. We'll check for updates here real quick. Up to date. So we got the latest and greatest. Everything looks good that way. Look at our local host here. Oh, everything's up. Everything looks good. So the next step will be to add a, another uh, server, a remote server, and then uh, we'll be able to monitor that using Nagios with the uh, basically the Nagios agent or uh, an RPE agent that we'll install in there. Um, Thanks again for your time. This is the Nagios core install on CentOS 6.5 minimal uh, install. And uh, you can get more information on info.bing14.net. Uh, thanks again for your time, and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Please uh, leave comments. Let me know what needs to be covered. More information, less information, more time, less time. I'd appreciate it. Thanks a lot.